Agriculture is one of the biggest industries in Taiwan. From pigs to aquaculture, Taiwanese farms produce some 500 billion NT worth of products each year, along with a massive amount of waste. As part of a new global movement called the circular economy, some enterprising Taiwanese are finding ways to turn trash into treasure, like electricity for farms, building supplies, and even surgical sutures. Here's our Sunday special report. This is the ocean just outside of Jiayi County's Dongshi Township. On the ocean's surface, as far as the eye can see, oyster cages are floating about. <laughs> Xiao Shihe is a Dongshi local. More than 10 years ago, to supplement his income, he started a business giving boat tours of the local oyster industry. The fastest they mature is four months. The longest it takes is half a year before you can harvest. Cultivation with floating cages is the most profitable and the most risky. The profits are really high, but if a typhoon strikes, everything is lost, sometimes in the span of just one night. The Taiwanese oyster industry produces over 22,000 tons of product annually, worth 4.2 billion NT. It also generates 200,000 tons of oyster shells, and Jiayi County accounts for 42 percent of the total. Oysters are used in a variety of dishes, and oyster pancakes are a famous night market snack. After the delicacy is eaten, what happens to the oyster shells? After being washed, the oyster shells are crushed and treated at high temperatures. The remains are put to a variety of uses. This is a grinding room. This is the raw material for semi-finished oyster shell products. First, we sinter it at high temperature and then grind it into a coarse powder. Since the beginning, oyster shells have been used in the farming industry because they can kill nematodes in the soil. Chicken feed also gets oyster shells added to it because it boosts the calcium content of their eggshells. The main component in oyster shells is calcium carbonate. The powder that results from heating the shells can inhibit the growth of various germs and bacteria. Aside from killing germs, it can also absorb materials with low molecular mass. When mixed with soil, it becomes a building material. At present, the majority of calcium carbonate is mined. It is dug out of a mountain and then it goes through processing. Mining is destructive to the environment, but oyster shells are naturally produced. If you just throw them away, they're useless and create waste. In a year, we receive roughly 50,000 tons of oyster shells, which can be used to make roughly 40,000 tons of material that can be used by our domestic industries. It can be added to animal feed or to the soil. It can be used in building materials or in regular paint. It can be put to industrial use. Oyster shell can be used in building materials and the construction industry. It can also be put to work in the textile industry by taking shell powder and further grinding it down to the nanometer level. The fine dust is combined with recycled plastic bottles, spun into thread and used as material for cloth. It's deodorizing, antibacterial, resistant to static electricity and quick drying. If you put it in your hands, it'll give off heat. Using the special characteristics of oyster shells, it's called low heat transfer. It will stop the rapid loss of body heat. In the future, this cotton will replace down as the most premium textile product. Why would Japan use oyster shells to make beauty products and health food products? Its added value is high. Take just one kilogram of it. If you make food products or cosmetics with it, one kilogram will fetch at least 2,000 to 3,000 NT. Oyster shells are a waste product, but in a circular economy supported by private companies, the shells are turned into something useful and valuable. Now turning to pigs. Pigs are a high-value agricultural product, but their manure is a pollutant if not properly treated. I know, my
We're in Pingdong at the home of Su Pong. His family has raised pigs for more than 60 years. How do they deal with animal waste? Over there, we separate the liquids and solids from pig feces, and pig urine runs down there. After it runs down, it's kept in a sealed space, because in a sealed anaerobic space, it undergoes fermentation. Back in the day, after anaerobic fermentation methane was produced at this type of waste processing facility, it would be released into the atmosphere. Not only was that a waste of a useful resource, it also worsened the greenhouse effect. Methane is a greenhouse gas that's 25 times worse than carbon dioxide. All lined up in a row, these inflated orange bags contain methane. When methane is burned, it can produce considerable energy. When harnessed as an energy source for the farm, it can provide two-thirds of my power needs. Thai Sugar, the largest hog operation in the country, sells 380,000 pigs a year. In 2019, Thai Sugar adapted its pig farm in Pingdong for the circular economy. They began collecting manure from their pigs, converting it to methane to make biogas. They found a way to increase the energy produced by mixing in other agricultural waste and fermenting the blend. The neighboring factories in Pingdong, such as food product factories, produce waste like pineapple husks, orange peels, tangerine peels, and distiller's grains. These leftovers used to be a real headache for people. I said to them, bring that stuff to us. I fermented those scraps with our pig manure. The resulting methane is even better. It's more abundant, so it works out great for those people as well as for me. Besides methane, the fermentation process results in biogas slurry and residue, which are even more valuable as an organic fertilizer. That's return to the soil. With some imagination, you can find a use for every part and process of the pig. For example, pig blood. There are already some countries that use pig blood to make blood serum. Here in Taiwan, a blood serum is imported. Pig intestines can be used to close wounds post-surgery. These local resources of ours, we want to put them to full and high-value use. Full and high-value utilization can be conceived of as a pyramid. At the base level, there is the manure of the pig, which is used to make biogas. At the middle level, there is the meat of the pig, which we eat. At the top level, there is the pig products we can put to medical uses, like manufacturing blood serum and closing surgical wounds. Pig collagen, placenta, and even the heart valves can all be used by the human body. Bring Taiwanese biotechnology businesses into the circular economy. Make them realize that there are a lot of resources available locally. There's a lot that can be used right here. Overall, this would reduce our reliance on imports. We would reduce our imports. We would create business opportunities and many more employment opportunities. Due to worsening environmental problems like pollution and climate change, major corporations worldwide are espousing the circular economy. It's very hard work here in Taiwan. If you were in Europe or the US, the government would roll out the red carpet and support you all the way. There's a heightened environmental consciousness and awareness of the circular economy. In Taiwan, we're producing more and more waste, including factory waste. It can all be reused, but none of it is being used. In the traditional, linear economic system, natural resources are taken, used, and then tossed. During this process, waste is produced all the way, leaving a burden on the environment. But in the circular economy, what was once thought of as waste, like oyster shells or manure, is turned into high-value materials and energy. We want to take the approach of uniting Taiwanese behind this issue. This can't be about a single company fighting a battle, trying to become a hero. This should be about getting everyone to cooperate to build a competitive Taiwan. With regard to the circular economy, I think the main point is that it can't just be a slogan. Everyone can make truly substantial contributions. The government must take the lead for it to work. If the government does not take the lead, there won't be a real effect. The circular economy is currently the best shot businesses have at a transformation. 
As they seek ways to better use resources, they could become the best hope yet of saving the Earth.